Since the month anniversary of the quest launch is upon us, let's go over my personal top 10 picks for the first month with the console. If a game you love isn't on the list, as I couldn't fit everything I would recommend in this list of 10 games, let me know down below. Like the video to help the channel grow, subscribe for more, but with all of that out of the way, let's get to it. In no particular order, let's start off with the most recent additions to the Quest store, The Wizards by Carbon Studio. I haven't gotten too, too far in the game yet, but from what I've played, it's been a blast. The game has you journey through various levels with a comprehensive and engaging story that gives a great sense of adventure. It's essentially a dungeon crawler, but I'm all here for it. It has this awesome magic casting mechanic where you use hand gestures to summon lightning, fireballs, and other elemental spells. Chain combos and use different tactics against the hostile creatures, this mechanic adds a little bit of immersion to where you almost feel like you're in the world of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's freaking rad. Make the game as challenging or as casual as you like with fake cards and become the hero you've always wanted to be with powerful spells at your fingertips. I plan to write a full review of this one once I get some time to finish the game. Next up, the obvious pick, Beat Saber. If you've been living under a rock and don't know what Beat Saber is, here is the full rundown. From the Beat Saber Steam page, Beat Saber is an immersive rhythm experience you have never seen before. Enjoy tons of handcrafted levels and swing your way through the pulsing music beats surrounded by a futuristic world. Use your sabers to slash the beats as they come flying at you. Every beat indicates which saber you need to use and the direction you need to match. The game is dope. It's basically Dance Dance Revolution mixed with Guitar Hero in VR, with lightsabers. There's a full campaign that features only the original songs from the original release, which is not very many and it can get a bit repetitive and stale after a while, but fret not, Quest has two full music packs that you can purchase and play in free play mode. Pack number one is Monster Cat Music Pack, which features 10 dubstep songs by Monster Cat. And then more recently, we just got Imagine Dragons with 10 of their most popular songs as well. And you can check out my DLC video which explains what songs are included, as well as some insight on the upcoming new 360 Degree Mode DLC exclusive for Quest. And next we have Job Simulator, a VR staple. Job Simulator on the Quest is the ultimate version of the game, hands down. It very much benefits from being untethered and from the 360 degree tracking. Job Simulator is one of the very first games I've ever played in VR and still remains one of the best. It really takes the interactivity aspect of virtual reality and runs with it. I've yet to see another game as interactively fun as Job Simulator. I've used it as a showpiece for VR for most people who aren't generally gamers because it's something that's very, very easy to hop in and understand. And on top of that, the game just puts you in various workplace settings like a cashier at a gas station, or an office worker, or a car mechanic, and your robot bosses or customers give you tasks to complete if you want to, but really the point is to goof off and cause mischief. That's where the game really flourishes. Another VR staple is Superhot. Blurring the lines between cautious strategy and unbridled mayhem, Superhot is the first person shooter in which time moves only when you move. No regenerating health bars, no conveniently placed ammo drops, it's just you. Outnumbered and outgunned, grabbing weapons off fallen enemies to shoot, slice, and maneuver through a hurricane of slow motion bullets. With its unique stylized graphics, Superhot finally adds something new and disruptive to the first person shooter genre. Superhot's polished, minimalist visual language helps you focus on what's most important, the fluidity of the gameplay and cinematic beauty of the fight. As far as I'm concerned, this is a game that everyone should own. The freedom of movement on Quest makes an amazing experience just that much better. There are plenty of modes to keep things interesting and plenty of replayability packed in. The next game, Virtual Virtual Reality, came at me by you guys suggesting I play it actually, and it has grown near and dear to my heart ever since. Easily one of the best VR experiences to date, and it really challenges the medium and our perception of life as we know it. Its mind-bending narrative and tongue-in-cheek approach is so refreshing. VVR is a narrative-driven comedy adventure game about VR and AI. In a future where AI has transformed society, can humans still find purpose? Find out with Activitude, a service that lets humans and AI clients in increasingly curious ways. Follow the instructions of Activitude's AI overlord, Chaz, as you find your calling in this tech-fueled future. Or try to break free and reclaim your humanity before it's too late. Use virtual VR headsets to explore over 50 unique virtual virtual realities, going deeper into the inner workings of Activitude as the story unfolds. If you're even slightly curious about this game, please check out my glowing review linked in the upper right hand corner, because everyone needs to experience this. Everyone. 
And then we have VR Chat. VR Chat is renowned as the best social experience that someone can have in VR. The whole game is put in the hands of the community, from an absurd amount of user-created games and worlds to just as many avatars to choose from. Imagine a world where anything is possible. Join a game of Capture the Flag in outer space. Share stories around a campfire while roasting marshmallows. Then moments later, experience a retro game of bowling with an alien and a robot. In VR Chat, there is something around every corner that will delight, thanks to the power of true user-generated content. Jump into hundreds of awe-inspiring environments and meet unique avatars every day. Watch a movie on the moon, ride the Titanic, step into a new world every time you come online. As with human nature in what is essentially an anonymous online chat room, things can get a bit wild, so if you're sensitive or innocent, I suggest you dip your toes in slowly. Next up is one of my favorites on PSVR as well, and that's Moss. Moss doesn't exactly utilize the quest main draw, which is the untethered room scale, as it's primarily a seated experience. But that doesn't detract from how amazing of an experience it truly is. In Moss, players meet Quill, a young mouse with dreams of greatness beyond the confines of her settlement. While exploring the woods, she finds a mysterious glass relic and an ancient magic is awakened. With her uncle now in grave danger, Quill must embark on an epic journey, and she needs you there by her side. Together, you'll travel the Forgotten Realms, solve challenging puzzles, and battle menacing enemies in a third-person action-adventure puzzle game with all the charm of an old-timey storybook. Alone, no one can conquer what you're up against, but united, you may just defeat even the darkest of villains. After that, we have Apex Construct. Apex Construct is a story-driven, single-player action-adventure where you wield an upgradable cyberbow and shield combination to battle enemy robots while exploring a shattered world, gradually realizing what led to the extinction of mankind. Step into a beautiful yet perilous post-apocalyptic setting where two powerful AIs are locked in a drawn-out conflict. As the only living human, you will uncover its many secret areas and solve intriguing puzzles to gradually realize what led to the extinction of almost all organic life. Use a flexible weapon system with unparalleled precision to engage a wide array of artificial life forms created by a mysterious entity called Mother. Replay any mission from your customizable home base to uncover paths still hidden, spend acquired resources to upgrade your weapons and equipment, and display your hard-earned achievements for fellow adventurers. Click the link up on the right-hand corner and you can check out my full review of the game. Next is I Expect You To Die. I think this game works best on Quest, as it requires you to spread out around the scene to mess with everything you can find to complete each mission. The title of the game is perfect to describe what the game actually is. As a secret agent or spy, you are tasked with various missions like breaking into a chemistry lab or escaping a flooding submarine, and you will die a lot. It takes a lot of patience to get the puzzles just right and complete the mission. And a lot of the time, you'll learn what to do to get to the next phase of the mission by testing something ridiculous out and dying. The game doesn't punish you for doing so, so expect to restart each mission many, many times until you get it just right. In the DLC dropping July 16th, 2019, you will receive instructions for your latest mission called Seat of Power. In this level, you are in Dr. Zor's boardroom, where you've infiltrated the subterranean den of deceit in order to extract important information from your nemesis. You'll need to be careful because there are sinister tricks lurking around in every corner. Stay sharp since these traps are bound to sting. If you make it out of the room alive, you will be a top agent once again. This new level will be coming completely free as DLC. Even more reason to pick the game up. And finally, we've got Journey of the Gods. Journey of the Gods is Turtle Rock Studios' next AAA foray into VR, and this time they brought us a delightful action-adventure game with puzzle elements sprinkled in, with gorgeous cel-shaded graphics that harkens back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker in gameplay and style. As for the story, the Chaos Moon is coming, threatening the peaceful inhabitants of the land. It's up to you to unlock the power of the gods in your battle against the encroaching darkness. Become the hero in this first-person legendary VR quest against the forces of evil. Before completing this epic journey, you will explore a wide and wondrous new world, engage in ranged and melee combat with sinister celestial servants of the Chaos Moon, and solve the mysteries of the ancients and gain the mystical power of the gods. I enjoyed this game a whole bunch, and you can click the annotation in the top right to check out my review of this game as well. 